Okay, this is uh, the third tutorial that I'm going to cover for the terrain system, and I'm going to cover surface tags in this one. So, for the purpose of this tutorial, I need to kind of upgrade my file here a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is open a material editor. Okay, okay there it goes. I'm going to go File, New, Create, Dirt, and hit OK. I'm creating a custom material because uh, it'll look better that way. And also, these materials here I created myself, so you won't find them in your project, so you'll have to scour the internet for materials to do this. Um, I might try to include them in the with the video. Uh, okay. And then hit save, and then I'm gonna hit new. And then I'm gonna hit uh, grass, grass. And okay, then so in short, I'm making a dirt and grass texture setup so I can make a dirt path with uh, the um, the surface tags. So Okay, got my normal. Okay, now what I'm going to do down here, which I forgot to do on the other one, was scale it to about five. And I'm going to hit save on this guy, and I'll go back over to dirt. And I'm going to scale it to about five. Enter, save. Okay, I don't need these anymore. Okay, now for this material here, I've been using the, uh, on the train section here. I've been using the macro material. I'm going to get rid of that. Just uh, hit that, delete, guy here. And I'm going to go over to here and terrain, which is already typed in. And I'm going to go to uh, surface material list. And I'm also going to need the surface uh, uh, gradient list. I'm just not going to use it quite yet. So the material list here, I'm going to see the default one is going to be grass. That's the one I just made right here, grass, boom. Okay, and then I'm going to actually make it look a little, see if I can make it look a little nicer. See, it looks pretty good. It looks like a video game grass, I guess. Okay, now I'm going to hit the plus here, and I'm going to add the dirt to this one. Okay, but I need a surface tag. So what I'm going to do is open up the tools and go to Asset Editor. Under File, I'm going to go New and create Surface Tag Name List. And then I'm going to add Dirt. That's all it is, Dirt. Okay, hit Save. Uh, tag List. Oh, it's complaining about the name. Uh, I put a space in it, that's why. Uh, tag list, there we go. Okay, now that's saved, I don't need that anymore. If I go here, it'll have dirt. Let's see, so whatever dirt uh, tags will be colored that color. So on this terrain here, I don't need to do this, but I'm going to add a uh, child entity. I can do it without a child entity. I can just link it, but I'm going to add an, another entity, and I'm going to go to Components and uh, Spline, which is kind of like a, like a, I don't know, it's like a rope type thing. Let's see if I can, where is it at? Oh, it's just barely under the surface. There, no? Oh, I have the Okay, the helpers are missing, so I couldn't see it. So there it is. But I'll 
turn it off again for now because it's hard to look at the colors. It's hard on the eyes to me. I don't know. Okay, and then we get a shape. Uh, shape did I use? Uh, nope. Just try a tube shape. Okay, and now that should show up. I can see it got a big old tube shape. Now I can edit the tube shape here. So I edit, I can select one of these. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm editing the tube shape, not the spline. I was trying to click on the spline. Okay. Let's, uh, so I'm going to scale that down. Uh, I'm actually going to have it skinny at the front. And then I'll keep expanding it all the way across. So it's like a cone. So I guess it'd be like opening up and doing a, a, a clearing or something. So and hit done and on the spline here, say that, and then I can click the spline. I can just move these guys. So I can have it totally go off the edge here. And if I hold control and when I'm moving my mouse over the, the, the line from here to here, you can see it, I get this little green little dot. If I hold control and I click, with a right mouse click, it'll give me a new point. So I could add that new point and wiggle it off to the side or something like that. You know, giving me that kind of weirder shape. And that's all I'm gonna show you with that, but and then I can close it and that would basically close the spline, but I'm not gonna go into all the ins and outs how to use the spline. But with the spline shape itself, you want it to basically be sunk into the the grass area because where the grass touches the material is where the material will change. So now they got the spline set up, which I'm going to name it spline. Okay. And I'm going to have this with a tag emitter. It's going to take surface tag emitter is what I'm going to put on it because that's a surface uh, information that I want to change and I'm going to select dirt as a tag. So it's basically creating a uh, uh, no. anyways, if I create another entity and I create a uh, gradient, the gradient I want is a surface mask gradient. And I'm going to open a preview, which hardly ever shows me what I want to see. But if I click here, it's, see surface tag list. So this gradient is taking the surface tag information. So I can assign it to dirt. And it doesn't show me what I want here. But essentially, this information has been converted to a gradient and put onto this gradient. So when I go to the terrain here, actually I'm going to name this real quick, just call it G like I've been. And so I'm going to go to the terrain here and I, uh, surface gradient list here. I'm going to add a surface gradient and I'm actually going to select that gradient that I just made and then assign that to the dirt gradient. Now, if I remove the helper, that basically pasted kind of a on the top there a color difference. Now, obviously, it doesn't come out the cleanest, so you'd need to, you know, you know, use a better resolution on your materials and uh like the geometry of the the main mesh here like if i turn that down to 0.3 or 
or something. Yeah, you kind of get. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Change my gradient. No, what I'll do is I'll zoom way in there. There we go. But you kind of get the idea. You can mess with it to make it look nicer. And uh, so you cover your area of you know foliage to kind of hide some of the blemishes or whatever. At least that I would do. And I do believe that's the majority of what I wanted to cover. 